a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Raheem Sterling Raheem Shaquille Sterling is an English professional footballer who plays as a winger and attacking midfielder for Club Manchester City and the English national team. Born in Jamaica, Sterling moved to London at the age of five and began his career at Queen's Park Rangers before signing for Liverpool in 2010. In July 2015, following a lengthy dispute over a new contract, he was signed by Manchester City in a transfer potentially worth £49 million, the highest transfer fee ever paid for an English player. He then went on to help Manchester City win the Premier League in 2018. Sterling made his senior debut for England in November 2012 after previously being capped by England youth teams at under-16, under-17, under-19 and under-21 levels. He was chosen in England's squads for the 2014 and 2018 FIFA World Cups and UEFA Euro 2016. Early Life Sterling was born in the Maverley district of Kingston, Jamaica, and spent his early years there. At the age of five, he emigrated to London with his mother, and attended Copland School in Wembley, northwest London. His absent father was murdered in Jamaica when Sterling was two years old. Early Career Sterling was signed by Liverpool from the academy at Queen's Park Rangers in February 2010 by Rafael Benitez for an initial fee of £600,000, with the possibility of rising up to £5 million depending on how many appearances he made for the first team. Sterling played in the youth team, scoring his first goal in a friendly against Hibernian in a 2-2 draw. His first Premier Academy League match was a 2-2 draw against Aston Villa, his first win coming at home to Bristol City a week later. On 15 December, Sterling scored in the FA Youth Cup in a 4-0 win over Notts County. On 14 February 2011, Sterling scored five goals in a 9-0 win over South End United. On 24 March 2012, Sterling made his senior Liverpool debut as a substitute in a league match against Wigan Athletic, aged 17 years and 107 days, becoming the third youngest player to play for the club in the process. He made two more appearances over the remainder of the campaign, again as a substitute. 2012-13 season In August 2012, he made his European debut for the club, coming on as a substitute in a UEFA Europa League qualifying match against Gommel, replacing Joe Cole in a 0-1 away win. The following week, Sterling scored his first goal for the senior team with a first half strike in a friendly against Bayer Leverkusen. On 23 August 2012, he started his first match for Liverpool in a Europa League qualifying match away to Hearts in a 0-1 win. He was given his first start in the league three days later in a 2-2 draw at Anfield to Manchester City. He played the full 90 minutes in the loss to Arsenal on 2 September, and the draw with Sunderland on 15 September where he registered one assist and was named man of the match. On 19 September, Sterling was one of the group of teenagers that travelled to Switzerland to play young boys in a UEFA Europa League group match. He replaced Stuart Downing in the second half as Liverpool won 3-5. On 20 October, Sterling scored his first senior competitive goal for Liverpool in the 29th minute in a 1-0 league win against Reading with a strike from the edge of the box. As a result, he became the second youngest player ever to score in a competitive fixture for Liverpool, behind only Michael Owen. On 21 December 2012, Sterling signed a contract extension, committing his future to Liverpool. He scored his second league goal for the club on 2 January 2013, opening the scoring in a 3-0 win against Sunderland with a lob over goalkeeper Simon Mignolet. 2013-14 season on 27 August 2013, Sterling scored his first goal of the 2013-14 season, the opening goal against Notts County in a 4-2 win in the League Cup. On 4 December, Sterling scored his first Premier League goal of the season for Liverpool in a 5-1 win over Norwich City. His form in December saw him score two further goals in wins against Tottenham Hotspur and Cardiff City. On 8 February 2014, he scored twice in a 5-1 win against Arsenal at Anfield. On 13 April, he scored Liverpool's opening goal in a 3-2 win over Manchester City. A week later, he scored two goals. 
and assisted another as Liverpool won 2-3 against Norwich City at Carrow Road. On 18 April 2014, Sterling was named as one of the six players on the shortlist for the PFA Young Player of the Year award. He was named Liverpool Chartered Player of the Month for April. At the end of the season, he was named Liverpool's Young Player of the Year. 2014-15 Season On 17 August 2014, Sterling scored to help Liverpool to win their opening match of the 2014-15 season, a 2-1 win at home to Southampton at Anfield. On 31 August, Sterling scored the opening goal in a 0-3 league win against Tottenham at White Hart Lane and was named Man of the Match. Sterling was named the Liverpool Player of the Month for August. On 16 September, Sterling made his UEFA Champions League debut in a 2-1 victory over Bulgarian champions Lugoretz Razgrad at Anfield. On 14 December 2014, he made his 100th appearance for Liverpool in a match against Manchester United at Old Trafford. On 17 December, Sterling scored a brace in a 1-3 victory over Bournemouth at Dean Court in the League Cup quarter-final. On 20 December, Sterling was named as the recipient of the 2014 Golden Boy Award. It's down to hard work. I'm really happy that people are recognising that I'm trying to work hard and do my best for this football club. I'm really grateful for this award, he stated upon receiving the award. Sterling was officially excused from Liverpool's FA Cup match against AFC Wimbledon in January 2015, with manager Brendan Rodgers aiming to prevent the player becoming exhausted. He used the time off to the holiday in Jamaica. On 20 January 2015, Sterling scored a fine solo goal against Chelsea in a 1-1 draw in the League Cup semi-final first leg at Anfield going past Nemanja Matic and Gary Cahill before beating Thibaut Courtois to find the net. On 31 January, Sterling scored the opening goal in a 2-0 win over West Ham United. On 4 February, Sterling scored the equaliser against Bolton Wanderers at the Macron Stadium in a 1-2 away win for Liverpool. On the 22nd of February, he scored the second goal for Liverpool in a 0-2 win over Southampton. On 13 April, Sterling opened the scoring in a 2-0 win over Newcastle United. He was named the team's young player of the season on 19 May for the second consecutive year in a row, and when receiving the award was booed by fans due to his rejection of a new contract. He was also booed on 7 June, while playing for England in Dublin. On 16 April 2015, for the second consecutive year, he was named as one of the six players on the shortlist for the PFA Young Player of the Year award. Contract Dispute On 9 February 2015, Brendan Rodgers said that Sterling had been offered an incredible deal to stay at Liverpool, rumoured to be a new contract worth £100,000 a week. But he also stated Liverpool were certainly not a club that is going to give way, way above what a player is worth at a certain time in their career. However, on 20 March, Rogers said Sterling's contract situation would not be resolved until the summer at least. On 1 April, Sterling gave an unsanctioned interview with the BBC, where he confirmed he had turned down a new deal, but denied that this was for reasons of money. He had two years of a £35,000 per week contract remaining and said that he would not negotiate a new contract until the end of the season. Four days later, Brendan Rogers slammed Sterling's advisers on the interview saying, you are not a 20-year-old boy and you pick up the phone and ask to speak to the BBC. You don't do it. Him in particular. But, of course, if he is asked to do that by other parties then that is what he'll do. On the 21st of May, amid rumours that Sterling intended to leave the club his agent, A.D. Ward gave an interview to the London Evening Standard saying, I don't care about the PR of the club and the club situation. He is definitely not signing. He's not signing for £700, £800, £900,000 a week. On the 11th of June, Liverpool reportedly rejected an initial bid of £30 million from Manchester City. One week later, they reportedly rejected a second bid from City for £40 million, with Liverpool valuing Sterling at £50 million. Sterling reportedly later asked to be left out of Liverpool's pre-season tour to Asia and missed two days of training through illness, which was met with widespread criticism from former Liverpool players, including Steven Gerrard, Jamie Carragher, and Graham Souness. 
2015-16 season. On 12 July 2015, a deal was agreed for his transfer to Manchester City for an initial £44 million, with a further potential £5 million in add-ons, subject to personal terms and a medical, which would make him one of the most expensive transfers of all time. On 14 July, Sterling officially joined Manchester City, signing a five-year contract. His debut came on 10 August. Starting as City began the season with a 0-3 win away to West Bromwich Albion. 19 days later, Sterling scored his first competitive goal for Manchester City in a 2-0 defeat of Watford at the City of Manchester Stadium. Sterling scored his first career hat-trick as City beat Bournemouth 5-1 on 17 October. On 3 November, Sterling scored his first UEFA Champions League goal in a 1-3 win away to Sevilla. On 8 December, he scored twice in the final 10 minutes of City's last group stage fixture against Borussia Mönchengladbach, helping turn a 1-2 deficit into a 4-2 win and ensuring City overtook Juventus in the final group standings. On 20 March 2016, he suffered a groin injury in a 1-0 loss to rivals Manchester United, and was ruled out for eight weeks. Sterling eventually lost his place in the starting lineup. He failed to feature in any of the most effective performers of the 2015-16 season, and was considered one of the worst signings of the season. 2016-17 season Sterling appeared regularly for Manchester City under Pep Guardiola for the opening matches of the 2016-17 season. He was Premier League Player of the Month for August 2016 after he scored two goals, and provided one assist in three games. On 21 February 2017, Sterling scored the opener before setting up a goal for Sergio Aguero in a 5-3 home win against Monaco. 2017-18 season On 26 August 2017, Sterling scored the winner in a 2-1 away win away to AFC Bournemouth in stoppage time. He was sent off by Mike Dean with a second yellow after he celebrated among travelling supporters that had run onto the pitch. He scored his 18th and final league goal of the season during a 5-0 victory at Swansea City on the 22nd of April 2018, his most ever at this point in his career. 2018-19 season Following England's World Cup campaign, Sterling made an immediate return to the Manchester City starting lineup. On 12 August 2018, less than a month after starting in England's 2-0 loss against Belgium in the third-place playoff, Sterling scored the opening goal in Manchester City's 2-0 away win against Arsenal. Youth Teams Sterling's international career coincided with the introduction of the Home Nations Agreement. It was not until September 2009 that FIFA agreed to the proposals by the English, Northern Irish, Scottish and Welsh football associations to update the agreement, allowing players who were educated in their nation for five years or more to become eligible for their national team. Sterling first represented England at under-16 level in November 2009 in a match against Northern Ireland. When speaking of the possibility of playing for Jamaica, Sterling said, when it comes to that decision, that is when I will decide, but if Jamaica calls for me, why not? Sterling was selected to play for England for the 2011 U-17 World Cup. He scored a long-range goal in England's opening 2-0 win against Rwanda in Pachuca. He also scored against Argentina in the second round in a match where England won 4-2 on penalties. On 10 September 2012, Sterling was called up to the senior England squad for the first time for a 2014 World Cup qualifying match against Ukraine, where he was an unused substitute. In early October he was called up for the first time to the England under-21 squad and made his debut as a substitute during a match against Serbia on 16 October. He scored his first goal for England U21 on 13 August 2013, in a 6-0 win against Scotland. Senior Team Sterling made his senior debut for England on 14 November 2012, starting in a friendly away to Sweden. On 5 March 2014, Sterling earned his second cap and was named man of the match as England beat Denmark 1-0 in a friendly match at Wembley Stadium. On 12 May 2014, Sterling was named in England's 23-man squad for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. In a pre-tournament friendly on 4 June, 
against Ecuador in Miami on his fourth cap. Sterling slid into Antonio Valencia, who reacted by grabbing Sterling's neck. Both received red cards for their actions. Valencia later apologized for his reaction. On 14 June, Sterling started in England's opening group match. A2-1 lost to Italy in Manaus, and was rated as the team's best performing player by the BBC. On 27 March 2015, Sterling scored his first senior goal for England in a 4-0 UA for Euro 2016 qualifier against Lithuania at Wembley Stadium. On 9 October 2015, Sterling scored his second goal of the qualifying campaign in a 2-0 victory against Estonia, by which point the team were already qualified. He was one of 23 players chosen for the final tournament. He was named in the 23-man England national team squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. After a run of 27 games without a goal for England, Sterling scored twice in a UEFA Nations League group game against Spain on 15 October 2018. England went on to win the match 3-2. Style of play Sterling plays as a winger, attacking midfielder or striker, though he is more comfortable as a natural winger. Sterling has been praised for his adaptability and ability to play wide, at the tip of a midfield diamond, and centrally, offering flexibility. Known for his pace, low center of gravity, and dribbling skills, Sterling has been compared to Alexis Sanchez by his former manager Brendan Rodgers. Rodgers has also praised him for offering a real threat, his use of pace with composure and his maturity. Despite his small stature, he also possesses considerable upper body strength, which aids him in withstanding challenges and retaining possession. Former Barcelona midfielder Xavi said in November 2014 that Sterling is good enough to play for the La Liga club, praising his physical and technical qualities. In April 2015, BBC Sport columnist Phil McNulty wrote that Sterling was very good with the potential to be outstanding, but remained a work in progress due to inconsistent performances. He also wrote, he is blessed with natural pace that makes even the best defences and defenders take a step back personal life. In 2013, citing the influence of his mother, Sterling was quoted as saying he was, not 100% religious, but my belief is strong. When the time is right, I will fully be Christian. He added that he put his faith in God and that he prays regularly. He has one daughter, Melody Rose, born in 2012 after a brief relationship. On 8 August 2013, Sterling was arrested for an alleged common assault on his former girlfriend, a model. He was found not guilty at Liverpool Magistrates Court on 20 September, when the complainant was unable to offer consistent evidence. A few months earlier, on 20 May 2013, a charge of common assault on a different woman was dropped after a witness failed to turn up to court. In April 2015, Sterling was photographed by the Sunday Mirror allegedly smoking a shisha pipe, and by the Sun allegedly inhaling nitrous oxide for recreational purposes. Manager Brendan Rogers said, I don't think it is something you should be doing. It's as simple as that. Young players make mistakes. As long as they learn from them, that is what is important. In June 2017 following the Grenfell Tower fire in which 71 people died, Sterling made a substantial donation to those affected by the fire. On 16 December 2017, Sterling was attacked outside Manchester City's training ground by a man who used racist language towards him. Four days later, 29-year-old Carl Anderson, a convicted football hooligan, pleaded guilty to racially aggravated common assault and was sentenced to 16 weeks in prison and a £100 fine. The Guardian praised Sterling's resilience and courage in deciding to play only four hours afterwards. Sterling has an M16 rifle tattooed on his leg. He received criticism from anti-violence groups, but said that the tattoo of you had deeper meaning and referred to his father who was killed when Sterling was two years old. The treatment of Sterling by Britain's tabloid media, especially The Sun, has been deemed unfair and racist by pundits including Ian Wright. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?